How's it going, everybody? Welcome to JR's Corner. Today I am sitting in my Acura TL. We are getting ready to go into a junkyard to get some cap hats. So, gonna get a few things. If I can find them, it's a pick and pull place, so I gotta go pull it myself. I'm just gonna wander around, see what I can find. And then we'll get to fixing my car later. Okay, well we're in now. Paid my two bucks to get in. And I really like coming to this style of junkyard because I can kinda look through it and see if there's stuff that I want as opposed to just one thing, you know, like a lot of the other ones. But, I mean, they literally have like everything here. So we're just gonna dig around and see if we can find anything that I can use on any of my vehicles. I have a couple of things in mind that I need for my car, but we'll look around and see what else we can find. All right, so look at that. So one of the things I like coming to see is stuff like this where something's really been messed up in a wreck and just some of the stuff you see in here is pretty wild. Just rows and rows and rows of cars. Walking along, notice this Accord. It's a three liter V6, sporting some Teggy wheels on it, or maybe some RSX wheels. I'd still those, take those if I had the tools to do it and I could verify all four were there. Oh, they're all four there, wow. Anybody want some RSX wheels? Well guys, I did it. The only thing I came up with was this dipstick. Don't be a dipstick, dipstick. Um, that's for Storm, because her dipstick's broken. It's got plastic on the end for the reader part, and it doesn't, it's not there. I actually came here for the factory Honda shift knob for my Accord, Sharky. And they had quite a few Accords that would have worked had they been manual. Now, I take that back. There was one that did have a manual, but my goodness, the shifter was disgusting. I wasn't gonna touch it. So, and it was all worn out. It wasn't, it wasn't gonna look good. I was hoping to find something that would look a little on the nicer side. But I am really hot. And I'm tired now because I've been standing out in this 110 plus whatever it is sun for the last however many minutes probably 45 minutes so I'm gonna go find me a drink go find me some place that's got some nice cold refreshment and then we're gonna go home and work on Sharky get the window regulator put in go from there Okay, so we are back from the junkyard. We've taken a few naps, kind of slept a few days, it's a couple days later. Um, actually just got done raining, so my car is all wet. And as promised, we're gonna swap out this window regulator in this door. This is the back door, but pretty much any door is gonna be the same or pretty close to it. Um, as you can see, it's kind of messed up my window tint. I don't know if you can see that because I have a new cameraman today. Can you see the window tint in the camera? See how it's... So, if I take this suction cup off, it wants to come off. I put it on there really good. Come on. 
Don't break the glass. That's bad. Problem is, it's been on, but it's also been hot out. Let's see if I can break this sill. Ah, come on. I'm gonna have to get this window completely redone. So this was a really good idea to keep the window from moving. However, I don't know that it's gonna be a good idea to... Ah, come on. I don't wanna break the window. I really don't. Get something in there to... It's been out in the sun cooking, so I wonder if it's... how that's affected it. I'm not really worried about my tint because I'm going to have to get that redone anyways. Oh, I did not expect this. I should have expected it, but I did not expect it. suction cup and window tint to join the forces to make sure the window didn't fall down. Mm, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Keep it coming. All right, so I want you to get a close-up of this. Nice and close, nice and close. You see that ring on there? Back up a little bit. See that ring on there? So this is how hot it gets in Arizona. It actually melted the rubber um, on the suction cup to the, to the tint. So the, that's actually rubber melted on there. So, good times. All right, so we got that off. I don't know that that's gonna be worth much anymore with that being uh, disrupted like that. But we press on. So on the Hondas, Hondas like to use these little clips. There's one in here and there's one right there for hiding screws. Just use a little pick or a little screwdriver and you should be able to pop those open. Pretty darn easy. And now I can't do it. I'm, come on. Derping or something, I don't know. Alright, so I had to go find a better screwdriver. This plug can be kind of a bear to get to. Okay, at least get out. Thanks for ruining my video. Maybe one day I'll have a big old fancy shop that I won't be interrupted while I'm working on my projects. Hey, pop, come over here. So this, can you see that tab in your camera? All right, so this tab, it doesn't really pull out as much as it does just flip up like that. And then you have the screw. So we'll get that screw out. Just like that. Now, you can do this two ways. Most of the time, I'll just pull up on the, the whole door panel all at once. But if you want to, you should be able to pop this piece out by itself like this. And then that way you can get access to your um, controls on the back side a little bit easier. So we'll get those apart. Set that aside. Tuck that in there. <clears throat> so the door is pretty much ready to go as far as um, as far as coming apart the rest of the way. 
obviously when I come off, I'm going to have that electrical right there that I've got to worry about. But everything else holding the door panel on is just clips. So it's just a matter of getting these clips off and then we'll be open. You do have to give them a good tug. Don't be scared. You might break some, especially if it's older. They're going to be brittle. It's just, that's just the way it is. Um, you can try to be careful. Obviously, you're not trying to break stuff, but if it does, I mean, just be prepared that sometimes that happens. my little pry tool makes it a little bit easier and pop this open you can have a couple of things you're going to need to do first is going to pop this door handle off you're going to have linkage back here you're going to have to pop off but really just dirty this little clip here the rod has a bend in it pokes down in that hole and then this folds over to hold it all in place and with that we will come off undo our piece there gonna set this right here out of the way and then you get to this piece and it's like okay well what do I do with this right pretty straightforward pretty simple move it out of the way in my case it's all gross and old and disgusting you're gonna want to get to where you can get to the access holes for the regulator so here's my motor Holes. And then if I slide this down a little bit more, I should be able to see access holes for the. There they are. You gotta get kind of, kind of low right there. And then you have access holes down here to unscrew the window from the actual regulator. Gross. I think they got the right size socket. <coughs> Actually, before we do that, <coughs> let's see what size or what we got in the box. Opening boxes is difficult. <sighs> Got it. All right, so here's our new assembly. Straight from the factory of Amazon. This is actually a Dorman regulator. I normally go with factory parts, OEM parts, because it just seems like for a lot of stuff like this, um, quality is a little better you don't you don't have to worry about having issues but for this one I just decided to do a difference so I guess we'll see if it if I regret that later it goes like this in there all right so that's the whole freaking thing well, let's get it off
there's our problem. All right, so here's the old one. Can you see this on the camera there? So this piece clips onto that, and that's actually what, and then this piece bolts onto the window, onto the glass. The clip, if you want to look at it really close, let's see if we can pull it out again. Let me, no, nope, oh, it's got indents on the end. So this, this plastic clip gets brittle, and this particular one, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually cracked. Can you see that right there on the camera, how it's cracked? So it cracked and then it doesn't hold the tension to the little knob anymore. And then the window's not gonna stay up. Okay, just hold on there, buddy boy. Let's, I need to get my screws out of the bottom. Okay, there should be more. There it is. Grab my magnet or something. All right, so these screws actually screw on to the bottom of the glass. Okay, got that one on. Come down a little bit more with that window, please. Come down. 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 Now the reason why I'm putting these back on just a smidge is because you can go back up. On your new piece, you just put it over the hole and then slide it onto the onto the um, screw and you're good to go. Or on the bolt. I guess it's a bolt, not a screw. Alright, so now get this finagle back up in there. matter of connecting this last uh, uh, piece that's actually close to the window. So it come down with the window a little bit. is on this piece that's in there now I just pushed it over the bolts that are on the window and then just slid it so now we just have to tighten it and that'll should be all secure and we should be able to roll the window up and down here. I'm 
wrench on this, it will break your glass if you go too tight. I've seen it in person. Okay, so we've got the switch in. It works, it goes up and down. That part of it seems good. Now we've got to go back together. Before I go back together, I just want to point a couple of things out. So this is the door lock actuator. This is what actually makes the door lock and unlock. You push a button or whatever. However, you're unlocking and locking without actually hitting the lever. And this is your linkage. So, <clears throat> fun fact, have you ever locked the keys in your car? Thanks, jerk. You ever lock the keys in your car? What you're trying to do is you're trying to pull up on this. Right? When you see them go in and try to like mess with leverage or linkage, they're going in here and they're trying to get linked on the back side. Well, my door panel hides on it, so it doesn't work that way. You need to actually to pull on this knob or figure out how to get it over the latch, which you're not gonna do. So I've actually had people that were really good at picking doors undo my knob at the gas station when I left with my keys in it. Whatever, it's fine. So, anyway, we're gonna go back together. Uh, going back together is the same as coming apart, only the opposite. And then we'll be done. <laughs> Going back together, um, just gotta put the door handle back on and then my screws, and that's pretty simple. Get over here so you can see this, bro. Up top, up high, up high, look right there. All right, so we're just gonna come back together like this, just push that out a little bit, push that in the hole. And then that just twists. Sometimes that will break, and you just gotta go get a new one. And then this actually pushes in, and then slides. So in and back to put in, and then up and out to take off. Okay. All right, and then the there's two different screws. This one's got a weird little uh, um, bevel edge on it. I don't know what you'd call that. And this one's threaded all the way through. The one that's threaded all the way through goes down in the handle. This one goes in the handle. Armrest, handle. The one that's threaded all the way through goes to the armrest. The other one goes to this piece. <clears throat> all right. Look, it's gotten so much darker. All right, you come back up, bro. Test. <laughs> Pretty pathetic for a brand new regulator. That's why you don't buy parts aftermarket for stuff like the regulators. But this car, I don't really care about the back doors. And 
if I ever get around to it, I have a whole other half a car that I can swap parts out from. So we're just gonna try this off real fast. Since we made a mess and it got kind of wet. And then we're done. We're cooking again. And you couldn't see his face. And you can't see my face. Can you see my face? Yeah. Are you crooked? I'm pretty sure you're crooked because it looks crooked. There you go. There you go. Teaching teaching new cameramen how to hold a camera. You're crooked again. Hold it steady. I'll give people freaking agita. Alright, so we got the old parts. They can go in the scrap. New parts in the door. <laughs> I don't know how long, if this doesn't roll up well, I mean, I don't really use the back windows anyways, but if this doesn't roll up very well, I might just pull this out eventually and throw a factory foot in it anyways, but for now, I don't have to worry about the suction cup, the now ruined suction cup, holding it in, I can go in the trash too, because it's not going to suction to anything now, so, we're done. Cineberry. It's the best flavor in the world. Can't buy them anymore. Alright, well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for going to the junkyard with me. Thanks for... Even though I didn't find anything, driving around with a, without a shift knob. Well, rather, my kids are driving around without a shift knob because of my new samurai sword. Because they broke my old samurai sword shift knob. The new samurai sword is a little bit more touchy. And so that's for special occasions only. So I need to find a new shift knob that's not one of those janky ones from the parts store. So keep my eyes out. Maybe I can find a nice factory one at a junkyard one of these days. But anyways, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys have yourself a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning. I don't know what else there, there is. I pretty much covered all of it. Night, and we will talk to you later. Do me a quick favor and go scoot that seat up. Yay, I can fit now. So, we got the window fixed. We got the window fixed. Sorry. We got the window fixed. Stay. It's on my head now. We got the window fixed, and so now it's time. It's raining outside, or it's kind of raining off and on. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, go inside and get my Xbox on, or edit a video, or play PlayStation, or edit a video, or maybe edit a video, so, that car just ruined my perfect outro, I feel so violated, alright, anyways, thanks for watching, hope you learned something, uh, have yourself a wonderful day, okay, bye!